right here is going to be a quick video i'm just going to show you all i had a request on this how to um press them off so as you see you definitely have to tape it and you have to tape it all the way around your design your paper the edges from top to bottom top to bottom you hear me and at the bottom if you're using the cricut um a mug press you definitely want to put something on the bottom if you're going to let your mug touch the um, metal plate there's different ways that you don't have to and i do have a video where i really showed you you can use like a metal um stir that you can get off of amazon so i'm just putting some butcher paper because i put my image over to the bottom because i want to get an even press from top to bottom and when you do it, you do in two different press. You're going to press the bottom and you press the top. And I got, and I was asking, do I use the cardboard? No, as you see in the video, I use my silicone map that I also ordered off of Amazon. It came two in a pack. It was a blue one and a pink one. The pink one I used when I do my resin and the blue one, it was still new. And I'm like, okay. When they said, you know, the different things you can use to press. And it was like silicone is one. And I thought about it. Oh, I got a mat. So I used it and it works perfect. So as you see, I'm pinning it on the first go. I set my timer for one minute. Some people turn it. I used to do it. Turn it four times. One minute each time. Turn it. Then turn it again. And then turn it again. And then flip it. And then when you flip it, you will re repeat the same progress over and over. But as I learned, and I do believe maybe is, I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it. Do it at your own risk. Because do know once you start uh, making mugs and stuff in your, in your machine, I, you throw away your warranty because it's not made to do the mug. But I do believe since they did the upgrade, I see a difference. So what I do, I don't turn it four times no more. I turn it two times. I let it press for one for two full minutes on one one side, and then I rotate it, and then I let it press another two minutes for two minutes. So I still it still gets the four minutes for the bottom, and then it gets the four minutes for the top. So what I do, and you can actually see, you will know when you get a good even press because you will see your image through your through the paper. Anything when you're dealing with the sublimation prints, when you once you put the heat to it, you will see the um the you will see your design through the paper because for some reason the the heat activates the ink and it makes it pop. You will see it. So. Like I said, I don't do the four minutes, like one minute, then turn it, then one minute, then turn it, one minute, like turn it four times. I turn it two times. And the seam, I put the seam to the back so I know when I do a whole turn. So I put the seam to the back or you put it to the front. And, and I press it for four minutes, I mean two minutes. And then I turn it around and press it for two more minutes. And then once the bottom is done for the total four minutes, you turn it and upside down and you do the repeat the same progress for the top do remember it's hot so get you some heat gloves me i still haven't gotten them. i'm waiting for somebody to get me some until then i use um an oven mitt whatever works for you 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 know you as you can see if you really look close you can see the design a little bit i was I don't know if y'all was able to see it, but you can see the design coming, the design coming through. So, like I said, you just get you a timer. I just use my the phone, but you can um get like a, a stop clock, stop stop clock. Lord have mercy, a stopwatch, whatever. 
and you just anything that you can use so you can set it for one minute but like i said i do mine for two minutes i don't don't ask me why i just didn't pick two minutes instead of doing one minute and then to stop then go back and do another minute i don't know what i was thinking but as here you see i made a mistake from not stopped it it was 10 minutes but i did know once that one the one minute mark i knew it was one minute not 10 minutes so i did um pay attention to that and then once it it hit um the zero as you can see i'm getting ready so i can um take it out and as you see i stopped it and then um um lift the the lifter take it out as you can see guys i don't know if you was able to see it you able to see some of the designs so now we're going to do it for the um next minute and then once that next minute is done we're all good to go and sometime with me i'm a little extra but do not make sure you pay this you do not want to put too much heat or heat it too much because you will burn your mark your timbre whatever it is in it if you leave it in too long you will burn it so what i did and you will see when i took it out i noticed well i felt like like i said i'm always extra i know i know i'm always extra 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 so what i did notice i'm like wait a minute it looked like it don't look like i could see the design through my print so what i did was because i'm I, I, you wanted to examine your mug you want to examine. you see i'm i'm turning it around you see i'm showing you you can see the ink you can see the design the ink bleed through the paper it really don't bleed because it doesn't get on your machine but you see it you can see it you know so i'm like wait a minute it don't look so you know what i think i went back i said i'm gonna go back and press it not a full minute but maybe like 20 10 seconds 20 seconds like half of a minute maybe no more than 30 seconds so that's what you see because like I said, I felt like it was one spot that I really didn't, I couldn't see the design. So I put the, the mug back in with my silicone. You see, I put the timer up again. And so I can um know. And I'm, and I'm just, just for that one little moment, I just want to um make sure. But like I said you don't want to leave it in too long you don't want to burn yourself as you see i took it out i just let it in a little bit for the, and i took it out like i said guys remember it's super super hot so i turned it off because it, i wasn't doing another one so i turned it off and i set it to the side to let it cool off that's something guys that you want to do you want to um, let it cool off a little bit because it's super hot. It's super hot. Some people take they um take it and put it in cold water and different things. Everybody has different met methods. I just let it cool off real quick. It doesn't take long to cool off. I let it cool off enough where I can able where I'm able to take the tape off. And I like taking the tape off when it's kind of warm because it's easy. The tape is easy to peel the tape off. So that's just me. Like I said, everybody will get will learn their own way. Once you do it a couple of times, you will figure out what works for you. You will figure out what works for you. So you can see the design is popping through. So now I'm like, okay. As you see, I took the glove off. So now I'm able to handle it. And so I'm going to take the take the tape off. And as you see the bottom, there is no scuff mark, no nothing. You will notice if you watch other people's videos, you will see like a little scuff mark and stuff at the bottom from where they didn't protect the bottom. So that's why I tell you, protect the bottom of your mug when you pressing it, your tumbler. I'm sorry, I say mug. Because whatever the bottom, I don't think they have like to spray anything on the bottom so i'm not sure you you probably can sublimate on the bottom i haven't tried it 
but you just want to protect it so it don't have scratches anything on it and um as you see the design it comes out really really good but like i said you definitely want to make sure when you tape it you want to pull it tight and tape it down you want to tape all the way around your your um paper because you do not want no air going in there and that will give you what they call ghosting. But anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, and thank you for asking for a video.